Here we are with the Beat Sport, live from Abington and Whitney College. Fridays, 10.45 to 11.15. With Elijah Taylor. James Etney. Daniel Wright. And who can forget? Ben Francis. The Beat Sport. Unbeatable for sport. Hello and welcome to the Beat Sport. I'm Elijah Taylor, and this is Dan Wright. Morning, everyone. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about f- mainly football today, but we have still got F1 and cycling still to come up today. But we're going to be starting talking about goal line technology. Should it be there or should it not? We want your opinion at the Beat at Abingdon Hyphen Whitney dot AC dot UK. What do you think, Dan? Well, rumours are that it's going to be available by the start of next season. I'm not quite sure that that's going to happen, but. Based on what we've seen in recent events, I think we need it. Yeah, especially after the last two uh, FA Cup games involving Chelsea. Yeah, at Wembley. Always, obviously, we had the uh, the Tottenham one, which effectively knocked Tottenham out of the FA Cup. Yep. Um, and then we had the, the Andy Carroll goal that wasn't a goal. No. Um, which, actually, looking at replays, it did cross the line just like Luis Garcia's goal back in 2000. Five. But was it the whole of the ball? It was the whole of the ball. Looking okay. at it yesterday, they, they did all these random technology yep. things. I have absolutely no idea what they did. But they showed that the ball had crossed the line. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we, we want to know your opinions, folks, at the beat at abington-whitney.ac.uk. Um, going on, we have got the England squad selections next week, Dan. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be selected. Obviously, there's a lot of competition in all all areas of the the team. Um, I think in, in in each area, there's there's well, the standout players who are obviously going to be picked, like Joe Hart in goal. But then you've got the uh, backups like Ben Foster, Scott Carson. Um, what do you think of the defence? Uh, options Elijah? Um, I think we've got like a lot of good defenders but we've got like quite a few that are like starting to lose their touch I think. Yeah. Um, we've got John Terry who made a horrific mistake in, in midweek, uh, was it midweek? Yeah it was yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday wasn't night. it? Yeah. Um, against Liverpool. Um, Henderson completely sold him and he yeah. didn't even touch the ball going around him so um, he has lost his way a little bit this season because he also did have the, the kick in the back of one of the legs of yeah. um, a Barcelona defender which means he's now out of the Champions League final next yeah. week against Bayern Munich. It is Bayern Munich, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Good. Um, we've also got the likes of Gary Cahill. Um, he's not been really given a lot of options up front, which is a shame, really. Yeah. Well, up front, I mean, you mean in defence. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's plenty of backup in defence for like uh, John Terry and Rio Ferdinand and um, Jamie Carragher. They're all sort of fairly old now, but they're, 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 still, they're still capable. We've got a lot of young Yeah. Backup. Yeah, we are. We're, Cause like we we did have Chris Smallin who was trying to take uh, Glenn Johnson's place at yeah. right back, but he's now got an injury problem, folks. He will not be going to Euro 2012, whether he was picked or not. Yep. Um, we don't know what the injury is actually, but we know he's got an injury that's ruled him out of Euros. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we we have got the old like decent players. We have still got Glenn Johnson and Ashley Cole still at the fullback in positions. Um, and that should that should be an interesting place to be, because I mean obviously it's the centre backs that have got their positions mm. sort of in the firing line I suppose. Um, yeah. That fr- up front's the interesting battle though. They say that there's a huge battle going on between Peter Crouch, Andy Carroll, and Grant Holt for the number nine position. Yeah, they're they're all similar strikers, aren't they? Um, I th- I think Crouch is probably the most likely. Yeah, uh, I, th- I think he is just just because he's the most experienced. He's he's got the the most goals per game record. Yeah. in the whole of all, all of the all of the strikers yeah. options actually, and also there's the talk about uh, Wayne Rooney uh, going even though he'd missed the first two games of the of the yeah of the championship. So if England do so, England do really badly. He's only going to play one match. Yeah, they it don't is. Get the group stage. I mean, the the group stage is is that we're supposed to be called the group of death though, because we got Ukraine, France. And um, who else we got? I know we got some difficult team, but I can't yeah. remember which. I think it's Sweden, actually. It's Sweden. Sweden that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, it's a difficult group in there. How do you think we'll do, Dan? Um, I think we'll we'll make it through the group stage, probably second place. I'm not sure we'll get yeah. first place. All I right. think Sweden will probably get that. Sweden. So you don't think France yeah, or Ukraine France, will do, do any well? France have lost their way. 
Oh, that, yeah, that is that is true. That is true. Um, yeah. Um, but what do you think, folks? We want to know at the beat at Abingdon Whitney dot ac dot uk. We got the last day of the Premier League this weekend, Dan. What do you think is going to happen between Manchester United and Manchester City? Um, I think it's it's Manchester City's to lose, really. Oh, um, everybody is saying that, yeah, aren't they? They've, so... they've got a much better goal difference. Um, yeah, um, I, 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 I can't I can't see Man, Man, Manchester United getting it this time. Um, well, they've they've got um, Sunderland this weekend, Dan. How how do, how do you think they'll get on against uh, Sunderland, Manchester United? Um, well, I think Manchester United are going to win. Um, so Sunderland haven't really got anything more to play for this season, other than pride, have they? Uh, no, but they are they are at the stadium of light, Dan. You you never know. Yeah, you never uh, know going there. Um, up in the north, they do put up a fight. Apart from, I mean, last weekend, uh, Manchester City only just managed to get yeah, through true. the game. Um, Newcastle had been putting up a, a really good fight, actually. Mm. It was a really good game. Um, if you saw that, folks, you'll know that Yaya Torre... It yes. was Yaya Torre. Yeah, you'll know that Yaya Torre did get both of the goals that game. Um, he should have got a third, actually. Well, he got, should have got second before yeah. the his actual second when he uh, he put the ball past uh, Tim Krul. It is Tim Krul. Tim Krul. It? Um, yeah, he put the ball past Tim Krul and then he fell over. That was hilarious, folks. That was hilarious. Um that's one of the funniest things I've actually ever seen in the Premier League. But yeah. um, well, the goalkeepers do make howlers, but that was the best one by far. Um, we've also got what's, what's what looks like an interesting game. We've got Everton versus Newcastle United at the weekend. Hmm. That, well, that that'll be a close game, I think. Yeah, well, Newcastle are trying to be in. Uh, is it fourth place? They're trying to be in. Yeah, yeah I think fourth. they are. Yeah. Um, we've also got Tottenham and Arsenal wanting to be in there, and Tottenham have Fulham at home. How do you think they'll get on? Um, I think Tottenham are going to win that one quite comfortably. Yeah? Uh, yeah, but you never know. Fulham could provide a bit of a fight. Well, you never know. They, Fulham did beat Liverpool last week. Yeah. Um, I don't know what um, the Fulham did they do last week. They they beat Sunderland 2-1. That's Manchester United's fixture yeah. this weekend. So, yeah, so, you never know. You never know. It's, it's, Sunderland are a difficult fight, so you never know how Tottenham are going to face yeah. up against Fulham. Um, we've also got Arsenal against West Brom. West Brom are a difficult place to the uh, place to go at the Hawthorns. Yeah, Roy Hodgson's done a good job at West Brom, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. It's, it's Roy Hodgson's last game before he picks the uh, England squad next yep. week. So yep. you never know. He he could put up a decent fight against Arsenal, and Newcastle could be in the Champions League next season. Yeah. Um, they were only in the championship two seasons ago, so they have done absolutely fantastic really well under uh, Alan Padre. Yeah, I think his signings as well has made a massive difference. Yeah, Cissé has been one of the best players of this season, and yep. he's only been there half the season. So we never know how he's going to get on. Um, what else are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the Europa League final um, on, was it Wednesday? Wednesday night, yeah. It was yeah. Wednesday. Um, I mean, it's a shame that the Champions League finals never not played on a Wednesday anymore. Because yeah. I, I always thought it was um, a nice thing to do. Because if, if you're going to play the whole tournament in midweek, yeah. then you surely would play the final in midweek. Yeah. Is this is this the first season that's been on Saturday? Uh, no, I think it's the second, second season, I think. Um, All right. I don't. I didn't. I didn't think it worked last last year because I mean I completely forgot that it was on a Saturday last yeah. year, last year. Yeah, I think midweek suits it better. Yeah, it, it just yeah, it just must be reason. Yeah, I mean, I I really don't understand it to be honest. Because I mean, that's when the league's supposed to bit go on, or the yeah. or the um the domestic uh cups like the FA Cup um go on. Although by this time of the season, most of the leagues. Have I know. I know most of the leagues anyway. finish, but uh, I just I just think it's a, a nice way to finish the season like, during midweek. I just yeah. don't think it works um on a on a week on a on a weekend. Um, yeah, Europa League. Um, Atletico Madrid uh, beat Atletico Bilbao three um, 0 um, on Wednesday night um, to win the Europa League for the second time in three seasons, I think. Is yep. It, yeah, three yep. seasons. I think they beat Fulham the last time. Yeah, Fulham. They got. Um, yeah, in the all Spanish final. Yeah, it's pretty um, comfortable win for Atletico Madrid, wasn't it? Yeah, Falco um, got two of the goals. Um, fairly early on, actually, in the first half, it was two 0 by half time. By half time, and then Diego got one in the 85th minute. So that so Bilbao must have put up a reasonable fight after the second goal went in. Yeah, just couldn't couldn't get one back. 
Hmm, I'm afraid I didn't see the game, folks. Um, but we want to know your opinions about the game. Did you see the game, and what do you think? The how do you think Bilbao got on, or Atletico got in? We want to know. Um, at the beat at Abingdon hyphen Whitney dot ac dot uk. That's the beat at Abingdon hyphen Whitney dot ac dot uk. We've also had the uh, championship playoffs this week, um, and West Ham destroyed Cardiff on Monday three 0 at home yep. at Upton Park. We remember the name of the ground this week, folks. Um, and um, Blackpool uh, drew two two with uh, was it Birmingham? Birmingham. Yeah, it was yep. Birmingham. Um, at on. Was it Wednesday? Yeah, it was Wednesday. Um, Wednesday and they clinched it with a three two aggregate win. Um, so, and the Blackpool manager, I can't remember his name actually, that's, that's terrible, um, has <laughs> said that um, Blackpool need a miracle in the final two beat West Ham, as West Ham have been on fire all season. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't get on in the uh, automatic promotion spots, yeah. West Ham. Yeah, I think that's, it's going to be quite a close final though, isn't it? I mean, both teams have been in the Premiership fairly recently. No, they, they both came down last season. Both actually. came down the same season, yeah. 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 Um, so, so one of them is definitely going to be a yo-yo team. Yes. Um, for now, um, they might not go back down next season, but I mean, we'll put a bet on that they they will be close to the bottom. Um, I mean, they might do a Newcastle. They could do, yeah. Um, yeah, Who I knows? mean, New, Newcastle have done fantastically well, as I've as I've mentioned uh, before during the show. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, one thing we have hardly mentioned uh, this week is the FA Cup final last last weekend um, yes. between Chelsea and Liverpool. If you didn't know, folks, um, Chelsea beat Liverpool 2-1 um, through goals from Ramirez and Drogba. Um, Liverpool pulled one back through Carroll, although they should have had that second one that I mentioned earlier where Carroll put the ball just over the line and Czech hooked it back. Yep. Um yeah, what did you think of the game, Dan? I think uh, first half or first 60 minutes, really, Chelsea deserved their lead. They were dominating the game. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool were all over the place. Mm-hmm. But um, it was as soon as Andy Carroll came on that Liverpool sort of changed, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they, 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 looked, they looked like a different side, didn't they? Yeah, they were dom- dominating the game and they were unlucky not to equalise. I think if they'd have played as well as they did in the last half an hour for the, all the match, yeah, they, they would have been a lot closer. Yeah, a yeah. lot closer. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. What, what did you What did you think of the game, folks? The FA Cup final. Um, we thought it was quite entertaining. Um, yeah, in final. the last thirty minutes, I mean, the six, the first sixty minutes were a bit dull because I mean it was completely dominated. But I think Liverpool pulled it back to make it a, a better game in the last half an hour. Well, I want to know how you thought of it, folks. It's uh, the beat at Abingdon hyphen Whitney dot a c dot u k. We want to know, folks. Here we are with the Beat Sport, live from Abington and Whitney College. Fridays, 10.45 to 11.15. With Elijah Taylor. James Etney. Daniel Wright. And who can forget? Ben Francis. The Beat Sport. Unbeatable for sport. Yeah, we're still here at the Beat Sport, folks. We're halfway through the show already. Um, and we're going on to F1 with the Spanish Grand Prix. Um, looking at it now, folks, Alonso's on top in the Spanish practice. Um, what do you think of that, Dan? Um, I think, yeah, he deserves to be there. I mean, it's quite close, isn't he? Bet- Vettel uh, just behind. Oh, yes. I-, I can see that now. And Kobayashi's uh, coming up yep. in third. And then, of course, Jensen Button four. Um, I think it's quite interesting that Kobayashi's up there. I mean, I can't remember who he drives for, but I mean, that's very interesting yeah. to have him up there. Um, you don't but... see you don't see them sort of drivers up there very often. I mean, no, I, I, know, think... I, know, I know that um, 